Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is Tanager 1 satellite. Recently, the Carbon Mapper Coalition's first satellite, Tanager 1, was successfully launched into orbit on the SpaceX Transporter 11 Ride Share mission. The satellite will use imaging spectrometer technology developed at Jet Propulsion Laboratory to track methane and carbon dioxide emissions. This satellite was developed by a coalition of companies and organizations including NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It will do so by measuring hundreds of wavelengths of light that are reflected by Earth's surface. Different compounds in the planet's atmosphere including methane and carbon dioxide absorb different wavelengths of light leaving spectral fingerprints that the imaging spectrometer can identify. These infrared fingerprints can enable researchers to pinpoint and quantify strong greenhouse gas emissions, potentially accelerating mitigation efforts. According to the report, Tanager 1 will be able to measure point source emissions down to the level of individual facilities and equipment on a global scale. Now let's discuss about methane emission. Methane is an invisible but strong greenhouse gas and the second largest contributor to global warming after carbon dioxide, responsible for 30% of global heating since the Industrial Revolution. According to the United Nations Environment Program, over a period of 20 years, methane is 80 times more potent at warming than carbon dioxide. The Global Methane Pledge was launched at UNFCCC COP26 in November 2021 to catalyze action to reduce methane emissions. Now is the time for practice question. Tanager 1 sometimes mentioned in the news is related to which of the following? Ransomware attack, cryptocurrency, methane tracking satellite or intercontinental ballistic missile? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.